The union representing more than 8,500 correction officers is suing the city in an attempt to block the vaccine mandate, forcing them to get the shot. So the mandate, which was supposed to go into effect last Tuesday, was delayed by a month due to severe staffing shortages. COBA Union President Benny Basio Jr. says those shortages will get worse if the mandate is enforced. He's joining us this morning to break it all down. So, Benny, good to see you again. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So, Benny, let's get into this because you filed that lawsuit on Wednesday, right, in Manhattan Supreme Court. What does the lawsuit entail? What's next for you? Have you been given a court date where there'll be hearings? We have a hearing on later on this afternoon on, on the matter. But, you know, look, before we get started, I mean, I just want the public to know for the past eight years, Mayor de Blasio has treated New York City correction officers that are comprised of essential workers and first responders like slave labor. You know, these, these conditions that we've had to work under and put giving us this mandate in the middle of a staffing crisis, you know, the mayor himself admitted that we were different than every but other city agency and gave us an additional 30 days. Yeah. And the staffing crisis hasn't gotten better since then. So then what happens next then? Well, look, we're, we're in court. We're looking to get back the weekly testing uh, so that we could return a hundred, also return a hundreds of officers that are out on leave without pay. Stop us from working these 12 hour shifts, five days a week, 60 hour work weeks. That's like inhumane conditions. So, so let me ask you this. How many, what's the percentage right now of correction officers that are in fact vaccinated? And if more would get vaccinated, could that reduce those 12 hour shifts? Well, we have 80% vaccinated right now. And historically, this department has not kept up with staffing levels. And the fact that when you talk about us being on these 12 hour emergency um, mandated hours, right? You know, if the, if the mayor would have hired correction officers regularly and not, you know, since three years ago, the, the first class is in actually right now and gonna graduate in January. And there's only less, there's less than a hundred recruits in there now. And we've lost, like I've said, you know, prior on this show, we're probably up to like 1600 resignations mm -hmm. since January of 2019. And when you don't keep up with staffing levels, this, he has created the emergency. So, so you said, 80%, about 80% of your officers are vaccinated. So how many officers would be suspended without pay if this right now we have enforced? We have about 400 officers out on leave without pay, I believe. Anywhere between four and 600, I believe. Okay. So, so let me ask you this. Do you want to see those numbers go up? Would more vaccination help? Put the staffing issue aside from the years past. More vaccinations, would it help? Well, Dan, we can't afford to lose any officers in this staffing crisis. Our jails are extremely unsafe. So we need the man. If the testing was working before, what's the problem now? And, and the other thing is that the public needs to know is the, the, the inmates don't have to be mandated to get vaccines, right? The, the visitors that come to visit the inmates on Rikers Island don't even have to show proof of a negative test mm -hmm. to visit their loved ones. So to us, the mandate is hypocritical because if you're trying to keep, then keep everybody safe if this is the belief, right? The visitors, you so, can't go to a restaurant in New York City without showing a vaccination card. Right. Why should you be allowed to come visit your loved ones on Rikers Island? So a hearing is currently scheduled for Monday on the vaccine mandate for municipal workers, which, which could be overturned. So does that give you any hope for your case? Absolutely. We're, we're, we're hopeful. And like I said, we're different. We're different. We, we believe this lawsuit makes, you know, we're different because of our staffing crisis. Okay. This has made it worse and pouring like gasoline on a fire already. So, so we, uh, we, we need I, officers. I, I spoke to... Um, the Department of Corrections Commissioner on our Picks on Politics show, he admitted there was a staffing issue that they were trying to right that way, right, by hearing you out on some of those numbers and said you had a point, actually said that you had a point with some of the things you've addressed. Have you spoken to him and, more importantly, Mayor-elect Eric Adams about some of your concerns? Are you getting an answers from a new administration? Uh, we believe the huge turnaround in the communication with the new administration that's coming in. Um, yes, I've had several conversations with Eric Adams and basically laid out all of our concerns. You know, I mean, I won't get into so much um, on our conversations, but, you know, I believe there's a positive change coming for New York City correction officers with the new administration. And, you know, the, the Commissioner Shiraldi hasn't helped us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he hasn't really helped us here. You know, um, we're, we're under attack and it seems like we can do nothing right 
in the eyes of this city. And this mayor has to stop treating us the way he's been treating us. You know, this is like modern day slavery, the amount of hours that we have to work. Our quality of life is terrible. 1,200 correction officers being assaulted. We're recovering from serious injuries out. I mean, you know, this false narrative that we're AWOLing and all this other stuff. The commissioner created a worse of uh, uh, absenteeism by implementing the sick leave policy that he put in. All right. Well, we, we shall see what will happen next then. Benny Baltio, thank you so much for joining us this morning and for your insight on what happens next. And, and keep us posted on the on the. Thank you so much. Hearing. Happy holidays. Okay, right back Thanks at you. you.